Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I'll discuss about cylindrical coordinate system. Before I start with my explanation, let me tell you the outlines of this video. In this video, first of all, I'll discuss about basics of cylindrical coordinate system. After that, I'll explain conversion of cylindrical coordinate into Cartesian coordinate and we will solve one problem based on it. After that, I'll explain conversion of Cartesian coordinate into cylindrical coordinate and based on that we will solve one problem on it. So let us begin this session with first agenda that is basics of cylindrical coordinate system. First of all one should know what is cylindrical coordinate system and what are the coordinates which is there with cylindrical coordinate system. See with cylindrical coordinate system we have coordinates as per r, pi, and z and we need to understand what is the meaning of this coordinate let me explain you that let us consider one point on cylinder so here we have one point that is placed on this cylinder you can observe this is quarter cylinder right that is aligned with respect to z axis and with this point here we are dealing with to identify r pi and z the r is radius of this cylinder r is radius of the cylinder so with respect to z axis if you take radius then this radius is r over here that is radius of cylinder to understand pi you will have to take projection of this point on xy plane so let me take projection of that point on xy plane that is coming somewhere over here and if you measure angle on xy plane with respect to x axis so this is xy plane on xy plane with respect to x axis angle is phi and this z is length of cylinder so here we have cylinder length that is z over here right if you watch this point from top view then here you can observe we have xy axis so here we have xy axis from top view and if you watch this point that will be somewhere available over here and from top view you can understand radius that is this radius r right and if you take trajectory with respect to center and angle with respect to x axis that is angle phi from top view you cannot understand length of cylinder right so from top view you can understand radius and angle phi so r phi z these are the coordinates which is there with cylindrical coordinate system let me note down the meaning of it see z that is length of cylinder this phi that is angle on xy plane with respect to x axis and this r is radius of cylinder so that is how cylindrical coordinates are there now i'll explain you conversion of cylindrical coordinate into cartesian coordinate so here what i'll do is i'll explain you conversion of cylindrical coordinate cylindrical coordinates are r pi and z that we will convert into Cartesian coordinate that is x, y and z. So as I have told you, see in cylindrical coordinate if you have any point then r is radius of cylinder, r is radius of cylinder from top view you can observe that cylinder like this, this is quarter cylinder right. Here if you take trajectory on xy plane then on xy plane with respect to x axis angle is phi so here this point is available and on xy plane from top view you can observe it like this angle with respect to x axis that is phi and z is length of cylinder so here i am showing you length of cylinder that is z we need to convert this r phi z into x y z right so here if you observe see 
from top view you can understand how x and y calculation is possible if you observe this much triangle see if you observe this much triangle then with this much triangle we will be having coordinate of x and y let me draw it separately over here now with this triangle we have this angle that is phi and here we have a point right now if you carefully observe with this triangle this much portion that is x so this coordinate that is x and if you observe this much portion so that is this portion that is y and here this is radius right that radius is r so from this triangle you can say x is what x is r cos phi x is r cos phi what is y y is r sin phi based on triangle one can understand this right and here see this z coordinate that is same in both right that is same in both of these coordinates so here z is equals to z so that is how one can convert cylindrical coordinate into cartesian coordinate right now let us solve one problem based on it so here we need to understand this cylindrical coordinate conversion into cartesian coordinate so if you want to calculate x then basic calculation that i have told you what is x x is r cos phi here r is given that is phi and this angle is 60 degree cos 60 is half so x is phi by 2 and what is y y is r sin phi where r is phi and angle is 60 degree sin 60 is root 3 by 2 so this will be phi root 3 by 2 and here z is same for both so z is 2 over here so that is how we can have this cartesian coordinates that is phi by 2 phi root 3 by 2 and 2 that is how one can convert this right now i'll explain you conversion of cartesian coordinate into cylindrical coordinate right so here we are dealing with to identify cylindrical coordinate from cartesian coordinate so cartesian coordinates are there with us from which we need to identify cylindrical coordinate right this conversion that we need to do and here one should know see if you have any point then radius that is are over here with the cylinder if you take trajectory on xy plane then on xy plane angle with respect to x axis that is angle phi so here we have point from top view you can observe it like this so on xy plane angle with respect to x axis that is phi and length of cylinder that is z over here length of cylinder is z right now we need to understand what is r phi and z see in previous conversion if you observe we have two equations x is r cos phi and y is r sin phi so if you have x square plus y square then on other side we will be having r square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta right so that is what we will be using it over here so you can say x square plus y square that is r square cos square phi plus r square sin square phi if you take r square common then you will be having cos square phi plus sin square phi that is 1 so you can say radius r that is equals to square root of x square plus y square right so with this coordinate now we have radius from x and y now if you observe again these two equations and if you take ratio of y by x 
the NAR is getting cancelled and on other side we will be having tan phi. So if you take ratio, if you take ratio y by x, then on another side we will be having r sin phi divided by r cos phi. R is getting cancelled over here. We will be having tan phi. So from that you can say phi is equals to tan inverse of y by x, right? And here z is same for both, right? Here z is same for both. Now let me solve one problem. So here we have Cartesian coordinates. We have Cartesian coordinates. First of all, we need to identify r. R is square root of x square plus y square. Here x and y that is 1. So we have radius that is root 2. If you want angle phi, then that is tan inverse y by x. Here y and x both are 1. So tan inverse 1 is 45 degree. And z that is same for both. That is 2 only. So that is how one can convert. Cartesian coordinate into cylindrical coordinate. So this is how one should understand how coordinates are there. First of all, one should know the meaning. Once you know the meaning, you can easily convert those coordinate from Cartesian to cylindrical and cylindrical to Cartesian. I hope you have enjoyed this session. Thank you so much for watching this video.